So during the drum solo, you can actually chuck it along with it. Which I believe he starts doing towards the end of it. And then we're going to go into the guitar solo, then a post solo rhythm, which is a little bit different. So I'm going to take you into that next. because that's the end of the second post solo measure. All right, so what he's doing for the solo, he's gonna come in and hit that sixth string at the fifth fret. There's two chakas, and then an open E string. Then what we do is hit the fifth um, fret of the second and third string with a bend. Catch, as we bend up, we're going to catch the four string at five and bring that down. All right, so we have this. Then you're going to go to the, um, I use my middle finger and I stretch by pinky. We're going to go to the 13th and 15th from the second and third string. So what we do is bend pre-bend that second string up, we're going to hit the first string and release the second string. Alright, so, and then we hit that string unbent at 13 to 10. Then what we do is hammer on from the fourth string at 10 to uh, 12 while we're hitting the A string also. And then we hit the A string open with the 10th fret of the 4th string and bend that 4th string to that D note. Alright, so slowly. 1, 2, 3, 4. To the rhythm that is post solo. What he does here is that he doesn't move up and do the hammer on from seven to eight and nine. He just stays with the five, so it'll sound like this. Hit that hammer on to the A seventh four chuckas, then seven, back to our um, hammer on, two chuckas, then to seven, then two chuckas, and then seven again, back to our hammer on, two chuckas, and then the actual A seventh chord. so hard to show slow. But that's the end of the solo. Now the fourth verse. When he goes into that we're doing just like the regular verses but we're only going to do it twice. It's almost like the post solo he's counting those two measures as the first two measures of the verse but the fourth verse comes in it's short. It's only two measures. <laughs> and so forth. So then we're into the outro. And the outro is like the verse. We're going to do four measures with the four checkers. <laughs> Four of those, and then we'll do fading out, just sticking with the five and seven. Again, it's
it's just a feel thing listen to it I really hope that helps you with the technique you know there's a lot of songs with things you just don't realize are in there you know we've all heard the whole lot of love where he bends up the um, D note while he's hitting the D note below it so you get that dissonance part of a whole lot of love that a lot of people don't hear um, the last measure Ted Nugent stole the Hendrix lick where you hit the uh, E string bending it up and then as you're bending it up you're bending the B string and catch the B string down. <laughs> Anyhow, he uses that in free-for-all. So these are little techniques that I really hope everybody um, gets to ex experience and I'm a little help with that. So. God bless and stay safe. Enjoy.